Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics. Today is a good day, the sun's shining, Lani's is back, we've got a great workout planned. Tell me what's going on. We're going to take you through some calisthenics conditioning. So there's no doubt that calisthenics can get you superhuman strong, but we can also use it to get fit and conditioned as well. So we're going to take you through five exercises that you can put into a circuit. It's going to get your heart rate up, burn some calories, and just all round good conditioning. So our first exercise is the ring row. We're going to take the rings, walk ourselves back, have a nice straight line from our shoulders all the way down to our ankles. We're going to draw those shoulder blades back, tuck those ribs under, and squeeze those glutes. Now Tim is going to pull the rings to his chest and lower back down. If it's too hard, you can walk your feet back. If it's too easy, then you can walk your feet forward. Good, as Tim goes up, he's thinking about squeezing these shoulder blades together at the back and lowering down. Good. So once we've completed the body weight row, we're gonna go straight into push-ups. There's no rest in between. So Lana's gonna get hands on the ground, shoulder width apart. We're gonna make sure this shoulder sits into the socket so we're not looking to arch the back into a big stegosaurus type position. Shoulder sits in, and then she's gonna lock in midsection, glutes are working hard, and then she lowers herself into push-up, elbows facing behind the body, and she drives back out. We're gonna go for a set of 10. If it gets difficult, you can always just drop knees to the floor to help a little bit, shorten the lever, and we can make sure we can still get the volume done but work hard nice and controlled even though it's a conditioning workout just take it steady to focus on quality there's going to be enough work to come to get the heart rate going so with push pull and lower body taken care of we worked all of those let's start integrating them together and doing something which is going to elevate the heart rate a little bit more and it's a trusty burpee and this is our take on how you can put this movement together so line is going to go from a standing position she's going to go hands onto the ground she's a squat jump back into a push-up position you've got two options here you can either kind of just lower yourself onto the ground we want chest to hit the floor and then she can pop back up feet come back to hands she's up and then she jumps out into position if you want to step up a level to put an extra bit of push work into you can do same movement to start off with but now she drops the push-up in so she lowers the floor under control she pushes back out under control bit more strength orientated and then she's back to her feet and she's jumping and that is the burpee put some of those together and we've got one more to go to finish the circuit so we've done the push the press and now we're on to loading the lower body we're going to do the pillar lunge next we're going to work one side first and then change sides so starting with the left leg we're going to lunge forward we're going to keep that knee above that ankle, touch the back knee is going to kiss the ground. You're going to drive back up into a reverse lunge and then come up to stand. That is one rep. So you're going to lunge forward using alternate arms. Good. And keeping our chest up nice and tall. And bring it back to the center. That's one rep. So as Tim lunges forward, he's using the opposite arm and changes arms as he reverses. As he steps forward, he's keeping his chest up nice and tall. So we're going to do 10 reps on one side and then we're going to change and do 10 reps on the other. So to finish it off, we're going to go for a run. We want to keep this around 20 to 30 seconds in time. But if you can pick a distance, let's keep it around 100 meters. If you haven't got that far, let's do shuttles instead. All right? Erasure. Serves me right for taking on an Olympic athlete and running. I thought she'd be quite slow being a kayaker, but she's got some sort of wheels. That burns. Anyway, that's the workout, guys. Five exercises back to back. We've got the push, the pull, the legs, the burpees to bring it all together, and the sprint to put some, some extra metabolic work in and empty the tank entirely. Right, let's see if you can get three to four rounds of the circuit. Keep rest to a minimum and then have 60 seconds rest between each round. There's a total body workout in there, guys. It's calisthenics conditioning. It can get your heart rate going, build some strength at the same time. So I hope you enjoy it. Until next time. Class dismissed.